So since starting this vlog back in March, up until this month, which is August, it has been pretty busy. Deadline after deadline, a lot of travel, and that can be the norm for periods of time, but it's not always the norm. So I find myself starting this month and maybe all the way through September having less urgent things to do. There are definitely things to get done, but it kind of poses a weird, unique problem. So when there are a lot of deadlines, it might be a lot more stressful, but at least it's very clear what I need to be working on. Oh, I have rehearsals starting in about two weeks. I should probably make sure that everybody in those rehearsals has what they need to start. Oh, I'm going to go to a conference in Miami and I need to speak at it, so I should probably focus on preparing that talk. It's always weird when it's time to slow down because it's like I forget that this is part of my creative process too, is having these moments where things are a lot more amorphous or ambiguous and I kind of get to explore. And sure, there are things that need to get done down the line, but they're not knocking on my door saying, I definitely need to happen. And in a weird way, this can be harder because I have less clarity on what exactly I might need to be working on. And no one thing necessarily takes priority. It could be that the deadline is sooner, but it's still far enough away that it's not feeling urgent. So I have several projects right now where I could be doing something to move it along, whether it's revisions, whether it's trying to find a retreat or a workshop, whether it's getting things finalized or ready so that other people can take my work and actually perform it. And I thought about putting all this into some kind of spreadsheet so that I could keep track of it, but that also didn't feel right. It didn't feel like I should be thinking of these things in boxes or in lists. So I had this thought about being a little more creative about it. So I made this. What I've pretty much done here is uh, take all of those next steps and things that might need to be done for each project and visualize it differently than just in spreadsheet format. I made this up myself on the fly as my hand guided me. Basically you see blobs and clouds. Blobs are things that have some more shape or may even be fully written, but it didn't feel right to use boxes, so I decided to go with blobs because things are always in flux and could change. I chose to give my blobs two different colors. Green is more urgent, but I didn't want that urgency to be red, like danger. Uh, I just wanted it to be, yeah, these are closer to being good to go. Yellow are projects that are less urgent. The clouds are all projects that are not near being finished, definitely haven't been produced, and I just randomly chose pink to be the ones that are further along and orange to be the ones that aren't as far along. And then I have down here open-ended creativity retreats where I don't necessarily want to have an agenda or to be working on a particular show. And I didn't think that that was a blob or a cloud, so I decided to make it a ray of light. And then I decided to draw this little blue guy who's hopefully looking happy because these are all exciting things and they shouldn't feel like just mindless tasks that I have to accomplish. So what I've been doing every day since I made this was kind of going where I felt like I needed to go. And I think the more urgent things will start to take hold when they need to, but I'm not necessarily going by order of more urgent because there is some space and there is some time. And some of these tasks aren't one day things, they're things that I have to keep doing. For example, I have some research tasks and that's not something I can just schedule two hours for in one day and be done with. Those are things that need to be happening over the course of the next couple months. And I even had this fun idea that it's almost like a sort of board game. So today I got this little Mario figurine that I've had for a long time. And I decided to just place it on the task that I felt was most important or was drawing me today. 
I guess I just wanted to share how I am maneuvering through this time of slowing down, that it doesn't need to be either really confusing and, and directionless or really structured to the point where I feel constrained. There's a way to kind of marry the two and bring creativity even to how I'm choosing to structure it. Because if we're in the arts, if we are creative people, why not bring that creativity to every part of what we're doing? Honestly, looking at this makes me pretty happy.